Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Cooks by Carrie. If you're new here, welcome. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make these delicious healthy blondies. This was probably the best recipe I made so far out of the other two videos on my channel. I really enjoyed this one and so did my family. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Alrighty, so here are all the ingredients I use in today's recipe. Today's recipe comes from thebigmansworld.com and it is intended to be a keto blondie, but a lot of the ingredients I felt like maybe you guys don't have at home, so I just kind of substitute some things and I'll let you know what those are. So we needed some almond flour for this recipe, a little bit of coconut flour, some baking powder, some salt. The recipe called for sugar-free brown sugar, but I used regular brown sugar because I felt like um, most of you guys would not have that, and I wanted to see how it would work, so I could recommend it to you guys. They also called for some granulated sweetener of choice, and I also just used white sugar. Um, then I used some almond butter, some coconut oil, which I softened in the microwave so it became a liquid, um, some two large eggs at room temperature, and a fun tip, if your eggs aren't at room temperature, just run them under hot water until they're not cold to the touch anymore and you're good to go. And then a little bit of vanilla, and it called for keto chocolate chips. However, I just used a mixture of some mini chocolate chips some from Enjoy Life, some a little bit larger but still kind of mini chocolate chips from the brand Lily's Chocolate. That's kind of like a healthier version. And then I just used some dark chocolate chips. And those are all the ingredients for this recipe. The first step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm taking an 8x8 pan and I'm taking a sheet of parchment paper. I get mine pre-cut from the grocery store and I just fold it in half because I want to have kind of like quote unquote sleeves on the side or like something I can pick the bars up by at the end. I'm spraying the dish with a little bit of Pam, and then I am lining the sheet. The Pam is a little bit unnecessary, but I did want it to kind of stick more on the bottom, so that's why I did it. Alrighty, so now in a large bowl, I am combining my almond flour, coconut flour, baking powder, salt, and I'm mixing it all well. Now, you may notice my almond flour looks a bit clumpy, but I promise you it's not. It's actually super fine. The one I'm using is Bob's Red Mill Super Fine Almond Flour, and this is my preferred brand. But obviously, do what's best for you. Do what um, is most affordable. But this one I've just found is way better than any other one I've tried. But I'm sure there's other good ones out there. Alrighty, now in a separate bowl, I'm taking a mini spatula to combine my sugars, my almond butter, coconut oil, and eggs, and I'm taking a whisk and whisking them until they're glossy. Then I'm going to stir through my vanilla extract. You're probably wondering why it's taking me so long to mix, and that's because this mixture is super thick. But I did want to include how long it was taking me to mix it all together so that if you make this recipe and it's taking you what feels like an incredibly long time to mix, you know you're just on track. Now the recipe said to slowly add my dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and mix until just combined but my dry ingredients bowl was bigger so i did the opposite i mixed in the wet and you'll see i kind of struggled to get all the bits off the sides but i do get most of them off and i um mix them together and i realized that the dough becomes so thick now i don't know if it was because my almond butter was extremely thick or maybe it was something to do with I use regular sugar. I don't really know what it was, but it became so thick. And you're going to see, um, you know, just that in a couple seconds. One tip I have for mixing all together is, you kind of can see me doing this, 
just trying to incorporate a little bit of the flour mixture at a time so that you're not getting like I did spill but you're not getting like a huge spill or something like that the last step for um combining all the ingredients is to mix in the chocolate chips I'm using a mixture like I said before and at this point I was really struggling with the dough and you're gonna see here in a second that my spatula breaks like my wooden spatula just completely falls apart yep right there and so I moved on and I got a larger um, more sturdy spatula but RIP to my mini spatula it will be missed now I'm telling you the camera does not do justice just how thick this dough was it doesn't look super thick on camera but oh my god it was so so thick and I checked the website and the website just the dough was so like smooth and like silky and not like what I had so I went ahead and I grabbed some water I didn't take an exact measurement I'm so sorry but I was like okay we gotta do something and I mix it in I think I used somewhere between a fourth and a half cup of water. I would just say, you'll see like how my texture ended up. Oh, and I spelled there. But um, you'll see how my end texture ended up um, once I'd mixed the water through. But you can kind of tell, like you don't want it super wet, but definitely not like how I have it. So I kind of just eyeballed. Now I'm wrapping up the mixing and you can see it is so much better like actually a batter more just so much better. I'm so glad I added the water. I I debated about it but I knew it was the right decision and it shows in the end. Now the last step before I put it in the oven I gotta add it to my baking pan. So I did struggle a bit because the batter was still really heavy but I got it all in there and then you'll see me smooth the top and I added some extra chocolate chips on top to make it extra special. Now I'm popping it in the oven at 350 degrees. It's all preheated. And I was still really scared for this recipe. I did not know how it was going to turn out. And I was pretty afraid it was going to be a flop. But you got to keep watching and see what happens. So now I'm setting my timer for 22 minutes. However, this probably took me close to like 33, I don't know, 35 to 40 minutes. So it's really going to depend on your oven. Alrighty guys, before I show you the results of this recipe, please subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. I'm really open to suggestions, and I'd like to hear what you think, any questions you have for me about this recipe, anything you want, comment it down below, and I'll probably respond. Also, share this video with a friend if you like it. It helps me out. You can talk about it with your friend. It'll be fun. Alrighty, now we're back to the video now look at those babies Ooh, or i guess it's just a baby because it's only one but it looks so good i was so proud with how it turned out this is again after 35 40 minutes i don't know exactly how long but my oven does run a bit cool so there's that but then i let it cool for 20 minutes i know guys you have to be patient i mean you can eat it before but it will be really messy so um I let cool for 20 minutes. There was some still in the pan there, you'll see. It bothers me a bit, but don't worry, guys. It did not go to waste. I did eat it, and it was so delicious. So now I'm taking a bread knife. You'll see me go in there in a second. And I begin to chop these up, and you'll see it comes out super messy. 
and so I decided to give it 15 more minutes so they cooled for about 35 minutes and then I came and sliced them after 35 minutes they were still hot and they were still delicious and they got that bar shape which is pretty cool and here is the final product I miss the camera a little bit when I come show it but I do get it up close it was so good like look at that oh my god it was so delicious it was healthy but it was so good and you can taste a little bit of the coconut oh my god delicious 10 out of 10 would recommend Alrighty, guys that's it for today's video if you like this video please all things i mentioned in the middle video like comment subscribe please follow me on instagram at spike harry i post lots of really cute um photos of the food i cook it looks delicious thank you so much for watching i post new videos every monday and friday at 4 p.m eastern standard time so i'll see you on foodie friday bye guys